We'll be here, sir. And here we are, huh? Oh, my shoulder glitched out for a second there. Maybe I was imagining it. Just taking a quick look around. Oh, look, there's a cat chasing a rat. Sc little scripted event in there. Oh. Changing appearance around here, too. Look at these guys. Sorel Del Mar. The Sorel Del Mar, or the Blue Guild, is a guild famous for the helping hand it extend towards those of the lower rungs of society. Its power lies in the sheer size of the guild, as the requirements they set to joining aren't particularly demanding. So our friend couldn't come by because he's a member of the guild and it would raise suspicion if he was recognized, whereas we're a bunch of outsiders. Right. This is it. Which is kind of the opposite to some extent of what ha is how this is often handled. This kind of scenario is often handled with the assumption that being an insider raises less suspicion that a bunch of outsiders stomping around actually makes people more suspicious, but I guess we'll see. Oh, the Withering Mast. The Withering Mast is known for being a place of kindness and generosity, a shelter for single mothers and their children. It has come to my knowledge, unfortunately, that the matron in charge of it has a contract on her head. Now it is time to see if that contract will indeed lead us to dark secrets behind these blue walls. So it's seen as a positive place that's helpful, but the whole premise here is that supposedly something much less possible, uh, positive is going on here. Sorel Del Mar Origins. The Sorel Del Mar, or the Sisters of the Sea, is a guild that has found that was founded during the Fifth Canticle during a period that's come to be known as the Song of Crimson Tides. During that period, Umbre's reputation as the center of the arts has been growing, and the burgeoning trade industry attracted a great many merchants who came to Umbre in numbers never before seen. Unfortunately, the flourishing of trade provided fertile soil for the shadow economy of piracy to blossom as well, and naval raids on trading vessels became problematic. There was a swell of resistance from the merchants and the guilds that were around at the time, which believed that combating the pirates was a chance to demonstrate their power and draw greater influence. However, the battle against the pirates was hard and involved a great number of casualties on both sides. It was then that, in the pool of tears shed by the widow of mer widows of merchants and sailors, the essence of the Sorel de Mar began to crystallize. Made widows by the blades of pirates, the women that were uh, to found the Sorel de Mar were brought together by grief. A malaise with no effective remedy. They spent much time amongst themselves, comfor comforting each other in their shared loss, wondering how to combat the moribundity, I don't know the word, honestly, of their situations. The answer that they uh, found lay in the turning grief into, uh, lay in turning their grief into action. They began helping those less fortunate than them, than, than them in whatever capacity they could. They began setting up soup kitchens and orphanages, discovering the healing capacity of charity. But the cities always had a tendency to corrupt. Once the demands of charity pushed the windows in, uh, to their limits, and I'm sorry, pushed the widows to their limits, and they could no longer afford to continue expanding their philanthropic campaign as vigorously as they had, they began seeking other avenues to fund their efforts. These women were not skilled in the arts of seafaring enough to take their husband's place outside, out 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 at sea, but there was something else that their late partners, uh, of their late partners, that they could inherit: their masquerines. Certainly not all the widows had once been attached to a masquerada, but those that were took it upon themselves to bind with the masquerines their husbands left behind. This feels like a bit of a plot hole, honestly. Uh, if their husbands died fighting pirates, would they not have had their masquerines with them? And if you die when you're wearing a masquerine, the masquerine disappears. That's the whole premise there. Unless, the, I guess maybe the ma members of the Masquerada might have more than one Masquerine, but so far it sure seems like everyone just kind of has their one, and even that can be taken away. So the idea that they were all fighting pirates would make would sure seem like they would have their Masquerines with them, if they had one, which kind of, kind of contradicts this whole premise. Uh, once that step had been taken, the next logical progression was uh, to found a guild, and that is how the Sorel de Mar officially came about. Though it has been roughly 200 years since their inception, the Sorel de Mar haven't strayed too much from the values they'd once held dear. 
They still tend to orphanage, and for orphanages and help the poor, but I have noticed the seeds of avarice beginning uh, bearing fruit in recent years. Cloaked in goodwill, the Sorrel have slowly begun concerning themselves more intimately with the fatness of their purses. Certainly, they say it is to combat the increasing expenses of living in the city, but I have my reservations about the truthfulness of that claim. Whatever the case, independent of their motivations, the fact is that the Sorrel have helped, and continue to help, many a life in the city, and that is more than can be said of a few of the other guilds. That is noteworthy. Anyone that's helpful is probably better than some, especially if we're gonna if, we, if we're gonna count the uh, the spy group that takes people out. An inspitore. It is rare to see a member of the White Spire in a blue ward. It is brave of you to come. It is only brave if there is a reason to be afraid. And there isn't, of course. My name is Matron Beneva. And mine you needn't know. Ah, of course. I understand. Well, I shouldn't keep you too long then. It seems the lot of you have a purpose here. I'd best leave you to it. I'm surprised she didn't recognize you. Whatever it is, we need to find evidence of what she's up to. The women here should be able to tell us more. Wow. That escalated quickly, calling me brave for coming here in a public place that's supposed to be a, a haven for people. Excuse me, miss. Have you a moment to spare? What do you want? My name is Cicero. Sable. And your child? Why are you here, Inspitore? Do you spend all your afternoons at this table? Some. Others I spend in my room. In those days that you spend out here, what do you do exactly? I do not see very many things for one to busy oneself with. The comfort of peace and solitude. The nursing hall sometimes gets noisy. Sasha doesn't sleep well there. That is considerate. Of course. I would do anything for my daughter. Truly? If you have an answer that you are attempting to goad out of me, ask the right questions. You are a direct woman. There is no room in this world for subtlety. When you need to survive, you cannot spare thoughts for the game of questions. You ask, you answer, you move on, and treasure the moments in between. Is that what life is like in here? Ask, answer, move on? To the next question, the next meeting, the next customer. You are just like them. Sable, please. You're not an inspiratory. You're a beast. You are mistaken. I have not come here to... Sable, again? If the matron learns that you are displeasing our guests... It is all right, Sorelli. There is no issue here. Well, if there is anything, Inspitore, anything at all, I will be right over there. You have spirit. Your daughter has been very quiet. You said that I was mistaken. Prove it. Tell me you are not of their kind. I am not. By all the ages, you have my word in my heart. Then help me. Please. Your daughter? Beneva. Lost legacies. Will you help me, Inspitore? Yes. Yes, I will. Then follow me. Everything is fine, Asha. Just fine. Oh, and Asha. Would you please let Divina know that my room is looking a little lonely at the moment? Oh, there we go. It's not quite yanking me forward. I was worried for a moment it was going to rip me out of the room because I didn't check this bottom corner for lore, but I guess there's nothing else here. So, that was easy. Immediately found something dark. We have somebody that's holding a fake baby. Are any of the other babies real? 
There's no baby sound effects, but that's admittedly not exactly expected in a largely text-based game with, with like, fixed cutscenes and everything. Alright. Sable, one. And there's room for potentially three more entries, but uh, at least one more is going to happen, judging by the fact that there's a number at all. I have met few people who have the strength that this woman does. Living in the city without opportunity is one thing, but to trust into a... To be thrust into a position in which your freedom is stripped from you is another. Despite it all, however, she has proven herself persistent. There is fire within her that has yet to be put out, and I am glad that we have arrived in time to receive her assistance. So does she not have a real baby? Is her baby dead? Is her ba or is her baby just what I first assume is that is, she, is the baby stolen? And she's keeping up appearances, maybe we can help her? This is concerning. Have they been whoring out their, uh... Their, the people staying here? Is that the darkness that's happening here? Cause she, she th seems to think that, she seemed to think that I was here to buy her services. Sable, what is going on here? Routine, Inspitore. Cicero, please. I'm not acting within the authority of the Registry. Not now. Cicero. The women in this banco are put on rotation. Every ten day we must meet our quota of customers and only then can we see our babes again. In the meantime, we are given that to remind us of why we must work. When we have our darlings back, they lock us in a room beneath the ground until our names appear on the roster again. It will change, Sable. Now, I came with two others. I need- It has been settled. Ah, Divina. Pleasure you could join Cicero? us. Cicero? plan goes wrong, she will not have to lie when she tells them she was no part of it. She and her babe will be safe. I did not hit her hard, so we don't have much time. The passage to the chambers beneath are down the hall. The Neva keeps those who are not on duty on the first level beneath the earth. But there are more levels beneath. When we are on duty, she takes our babes and descends further. I don't know what awaits us beyond. I've never been deeper myself. Now, let's go. This escalated so quickly. <laughs> Seriously, like immediately, like, this is a trustworthy location. Nothing's ever going wrong here, says Calden. And then, like, immediately, just a, like a minute into being here, we immediately find out that, oh yeah, by the way, they're prostituting everybody and stealing their babies. Stealing their babies. Hello, listen to me. Babies stolen, and then they st then they lock their mothers underground afterwards. She has taken all three of them into her room. Hmm. That cape is just cloth over the shoulder of a mortal, a mortal thirsty for flesh. But come, her job is done. It is time for us to retrieve Sasha for her. Sasha. That's horrifying. They're talking about... that must be her daughter then, right? They're talking about that all three of us were in her room. Well, we know where to find the babies. The stairs down are just beyond this door. I understand. Cicero, they're likely guarded. Then woe to the men who stand for the foul. Seriously, it's really hard... like... I felt iffy in the past, but it's hard to defend anyone here. Will blind yep. Like, there's been rebellions and stuff like that, and you can kind of argue about what who deserves the violence and what like and stuff like that. But yeah, they're capturing babies and using and locking them away from their mothers. So the, yeah, they're basically slavers and kidnappers. Yay! That's some darkness right there. All right, let's re-review some of these basic skills we have. So you have a fan of blades. Without that, we already had that one before. Alright, so, new guy, 
You have a powerful shot that deals damage to an enemy. This is just your basic tag, but it, I just made it more powerful with the upgrades. This is an AoE attack. This is also sort of an AoE. It's a multi-target attack. The Void is the one that's, that holds people together. Oh yeah. Let's try that. That's useful. Alright. This is when we try to do every single attack that's AoE based that we can right in there. Within five meters. I'll have to assume it'll work out here. Let's throw the fan out. You can throw this AoE down. That's fun. They're probably not feeling too hot right now. Another fan attack. Activate our Dust Devil. Let's throw some drakes down. And so ends the AoE. Ah, eh, we tried. This guy's out of focus at least. That's a start. But those are all the mage, the mage, the magic users. Let's throw out our ta our tag buster. There we go. All right, off to a good start. I think the AoE is kind of pulled off, or kind of worked out. Let's run oh, I was about to run around behind them, but then they went and moved anyway. Let's flank this character. Make it hard for them to get away. Oh yeah. Don't need to drain this person's focus first. Trying to run around this person to flank them, but everyone's always moving. Here we go. Goodbye. It's through this latch. Zero sympathy for these people. How do you even justify this, like, to yourself? They had to be extra scummy. That's the, like, I don't think there's even religious connotations here. They're just a peop- they, they were just an organization of people that were supposed- to, that were supposed to help people. And this happened. So, like, it's not even, like, some great belief that's leading them to do this. Intruders! Hi. Ah, this'll be fun. How y'all's feeling today? See, let's bring you all together if we can. Look at that AoE. Alright, so... We'll try using Void. They kind of ran through that, didn't they? It didn't really interrupt at all. Alright. Oops, misclicked. There we go. Everyone's attacking this character. If I'm careful, I can run around behind him real quick. Making him easier to target. Throwing some dragons down. Or the drakes. Okay, that's bad. That's damaging. Come on. Crap. Having trouble reviving. Oh, that's not good. Actually, I, I, I was surprisingly durable just now. Okay. He's flat out stuck, so I need to revive you with somebody else. And he's stuck in an animation I can't break out of. Come on. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good at all. Crap. <laughs> there were so many units I couldn't physically move, so I couldn't get- uh, I, I switched to somebody to- I tried to revive people with the main character and he was trapped, and I tried to remi revive people with the uh, purple guy, and he was- he had already started an animation and couldn't escape from it. Damn. Intruders. Go, my friend. So, the takeaway is I need to pause a whole lot more this time around. Let's see, so you guys are about to both AoE, so let's have you... Let's have everyone attack this guy. Just to, just to stay out of the projector. Yeah, stay out of the path of this attack. Who am I playing as right now? You are, okay. Sneak up behind real quick. Do all the damage we can here. Not a lot of other tricks to pull, I could root them. There we go. He kind of casted it off time. This is a... AoE attack. Should I hit both these guys? There we go. Just gonna run around for a bit. You guys can do it, I believe in you. You got them! Congratulations! They're still chasing me, aren't they? <laughs> nope. 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 Aha! You're trapped now! 
Well, that worked out. Holding attention for a while and running away pretty much dealt with the problem. Because they got so focused on the spellcaster. That worked. New ink obtained. Upgrade with Foths. Or the Toths. I guess we'll have to see what, la what that is later. But that could lead to a special effect. I mean, it will. That's the whole point. Intruders! Hi! Oh, eyes from the White Spire. Stay back, Sable. Hmm. Finally gather the gold to try, did you? You seem to have forgotten what happens to the children of women who... You leave Sasha alone! Oh, don't waste your words. When you're gone, you won't be able to shed tears for her anyway. And you, Inspitore, it seems you've found out about my little operation. I'm afraid I can't let you leave now. For the light! Part of me, part of me is admittedly a little disappointed in how little effort it took to uncover this conspiracy. <laughs> it's like, we're, we've been here for like a minute, and it's like, oh yeah! Everything's on the immediately on the cards. Oops. I mean, on the table. I'm playing as the wrong character here. Nope. I was trying to dodge the AoE. It didn't quite pan out as planned. Nope. I'm still hitting his focus. Let's get behind his focus. There we go. I'll throw down a few things. You shouldn't be able to hold me off for too long. That's not good. Oh, that's an AoE. I don't want to deal with either. Okay. Inspitori, we have a revive to do. Quickly. Ah, I can't get him away. People really get stuck when they're being attacked. It's hard to hold them out. It's hard to pull them out when they're under attack. Hey now. You cut that out. No, come back here. Oh, that did not have that range. My bad. Okay. Let's see if, uh, I, yeah, I can't get him out because he's already rooted at that point. Not a lot of tricks to pull at that, at that situation. Alright, let's review again. What does our new character's skill do? Reduce threat gained. Probably not a bad thing just to throw down from time to time. Let's see, we're, she's rooted in place, so she won't be going anywhere now. So there's that much. There we go. Nope. Figured she was gonna go down sooner or later. She had no hit points left. Oh, there's the AoE. Escaped it. Let's keep our distance. So, interestingly, I pressed all these different hotkeys. These ones all auto cast. For some reason, Windburst needs you to select a target, even though I only have one target to select. So, but, but interestingly, all the other ones auto, auto selected her. I'm not sure why that's, that's that discrepancy. No! Cicero! She's going after Come Sasha! On. We're really bad at letting people get away in the middle of a fight when they're the only target left in the fight. Oh, good thing I didn't immediately grab that door. That's a nasty place to hide, hide your masquerine. This one's for Vasco. It's called Call Lightning. Oh, weird. They all have weird... They all have, like, Italian-ish sounding names and special words, and that one's just called Call Lightning. <laughs> A final chance, Inspitore. Turn and leave, and the blood of the innocent needn't be on your hands. I will not let willful ignorance cost the people of this Banco their lives, Beniva. Oh, you interfering will do far worse than that, I assure you. Beniva, please! Enough! If talk will not turn you away, then perhaps action will. Here we go. They are only the scummiest. Okay. There's a, there's a swab and a clarion. Let's maybe all focus fire this special target here. That's probably a little squishy, but not the boss themselves. We try to suck them all together so they all get stuck. We're using tremor, hopefully. There's the fire spell. Let's throw down a few of these extras. We can throw down an AoE over here. Oh, they're, they're kind of scattering and not much damage actually was applied over the course of that encounter, unfortunately. Well, that's not good news. All right. 
Maybe we should just focus on the swab because they're right up in our face. Because not much else has been accomplished so far. We're in a bad place right now. And she's stunned, it looks like. Well, they no, no longer have an auto attack, at least. Just throw out this attack cone. Boom! Now she's down. Alright. Let's all take out the secondary target. I'll try to run behind for flank. There we go. Oh, that was a total miss. Uh, she's almost down, though. It's the re those rear attacks are severe. There we go. And now it's all over. Oops. Misclicking. There we go. Pretty much just gotta throw whatever we can at her. There we go. No! You... You will see what you have cost them. Oh, come on. Really? Sasha! There's three of us. We outnumber her. We keep letting her escape. It's a little silly. Oh. I know it's a tense situation, but let's casually scroll, uh, stroll around for lore. Nope. <laughs> this is horrible, though. You have lost, Beneva. Stand down and let the people of this Bonko go. This is Umber, Inspitori. Nothing is lost until death, and little is gained without it. Go, my friends. Go! Well, she has an especially dark interpretation of how this town works, doesn't she? She must be really tough if she's gonna face us three on one here. It doesn't seem to jive with what we've seen so far. Oh, she's she's summoning. She is attacking babies. She's going to try to kill all the babies one by one? What the hell? Does he doesn't want these skills to interrupt? Targets become silenced. Come on. Did we target did we silence him or not? That ice tomb seems like a problem. Do I target it directly? Can I attack the tomb itself? Holy shit. Can we beat the... Okay, we can beat the ice tomb. Okay. So silencing didn't stop, him, stop her, but we were able to actually physically stop the ice tomb from happening anymore. Uh, anyone else being tombed right now? No? Baby seems alive. Let's try to run around behind her real quick. Flanking attacks. There we go. You can't get- you can't unflank us now. Although I'm not doing much damage past the shields, honestly. Alright, you're basically Satan, you know that? Like, you're not even like- at this point you're just like- you're, you're like strangling and freezing babies out of spite. Not even- like this whole thing was supposed to be a personal gain operation, right? Like you're making money off of this, it's like, oh, a profitable thing. But now you're so shitty and spiteful you're actually gonna try to freeze all the babies to death. Like, just because somebody found- caught you? It's not even covering your tracks, it's just insanity. You're a crazy person. I'm here to slow you down. I don't even care about the other priorities, we're- We're just going to attack these things as, as much as we can immediately. Nope, there we go. Yeah, I'm not risking it, I'm just gonna- Whenever that happens, I'm prioritizing it over anything else. Uh, let's get behind. Oh shit. When did that happen? Oh shit. Okay, I think the baby's still alive. I didn't even notice that one start. I just gotta look around a lot, I guess. Regardless. Um, you got the phoenix things? So yeah, it's, you're not about- to well, actually, you are kind of about to die. I'll see if, I get, if it gets any closer. Uh, can I break out of this ice prison at all? Or am I stuck? I can still throw mud drakes down. That'll still work. Any ice prisons? I'm just gonna keep looking around periodically because of how much trouble we've gotten in there. Okay, how much does this last? Ten seconds? That might not be... Ah, I should probably try it. Rebirth activated. There we go. Oh my god. Yep, it happened. She went down. Okay. Uh... This is fucked. 
Gotta try. We gotta split up. All right. So you took out yours. So you switch targets. You took out yours, I believe. Yeah. You're still working on yours. So you get over there. Come on. How's it going up there? Uh, get there if you can. Oh, we didn't take you out yet? Shit. What the hell is actually wrong with this person, though? Seriously. Uh, why are you murdering the babies? Stop. Stop trying to murder the babies. What's wrong with you? Uh, come on, man. <laughs> nope, she's about to go down again. Stop doing that. Ah. Her going down is very bad, because then I have to spend time reviving her that I might have to spend trying to make babies not be dead. As funny as that sounds. Uh, do they still have living babies inside them? I think they do. I don't know. There's only six of them. I actually, actually kind of thought there'd be more babies, frankly. Which is kind of horrible in its own right. Okay, we need to revive now. Before she... Okay, there we go. Since I was blinded. <coughs> you. The mechanisms of a contract, Beneva. <laughs> the Laboris are fools. They think to take everything into their own hands, but you... You have seen through their ideals. You know why this place exists. I am not here for your justifications. Goodbye, Beneva. Take it in. We owe it to you. <laughs> Please, Sable. If it hadn't been for you... Stop it, Cicero. You know where the true credit lies. Uh, looks like they're leaving. Goodbye, Inspettore. Goodbye. I know it's probably supposed to be people that are outside the organization itself, but the fact that all those people escorting the women away were also in the same uniform just makes me nervous. Like they might be walking into the same trap all over again. It's unnerving. Sable too. And so she leaves, her life changed. It's a concept that I had long abandoned, that we are actors of, of change in this world. The past five years I've spent swaying to the winds of the world, bending to them, never staying on my two feet. But now I've dipped my fingers in the stream, I've cut the winds instead of letting them lead me, and I am reminded that I can. I look down at my fingers and I see the fingers of someone who might be able to make a difference, no matter how small. It isn't the worst feeling. Is there another one in here? Oh, here we are. Beneva. The corrupting potential of power can never be underestimated. No heart, no matter how bright, is safe from its reach. I would wager, even, that those put in places of trust and authority have a far easier time losing themselves to its influence than those who are not. Matron Beneva of the Sorel de Mar is a prime example. Having been left to care for the underprivileged and the abused who could do nothing to stop her, the temptation to take a shortcut to power was strong for the matron. It is unsurprising that she gave in to the, the enticement. Unfortunately for the matron, however, her fortune, as it were, was not to last. The city might be a dark place, but it is still a place with rules, however twisted they, they, they might be. The laborers, uh, the, la the laborers put a, a contract on her head for her attempts at flouting the rules of the city, as defined by the Purple Guild and her life came to an end soon after, putting a stop to the abuse of the women under her care. I wonder if this will change Calden's opinion of the, of the Purple Guild, because he saw them as... as he's, he clearly was uh, spiteful against their group, but their group just un unearthed and uh, led to the ultimate fix of a great evil happening in his, in his own guild that he was blind to. That was a dark little chapter. Felt a little bit rushed. Uh, it was over in only half an hour, which was a bit of a surprise. And that's that's even with the lore reading. Leaving so soon? 
Zelia. A good thing you did today. What are you doing here? Keeping an eye on my wards, of course. And the people who interfere with them. I am the head matron of the Sorelli, lest you've forgotten. And you let this pass? I did not encourage it, certainly. But Beneva had her uses, though even she was not aware of my gaze. But yet you seem to care none that Beneva is now gone. In the city, those who cannot learn to ride the tides of change will quickly drown beneath their foam. A few letters of appreciation to both the laboris and the registry for rooting out the rotten flesh. A promise from one of the lesser matrons that she will take care of this ward better than Beneva. Hmm. In the grand scheme, there is little that is lost from the late matron's departure. What is this about, Zelia? Surely you didn't stop me to remind me of the Dance of Shadows. It's come to my knowledge that you're traveling with one of my mariners. What of it? Are you aware that he is in charge of an orphanage? He mentioned it briefly before. Today a songstress came by asking for him. Olana. She's asked for his place of residence, invoking her authority as songstress to claim the knowledge. We told her about the sail heart. You want me to tell him? If you could be so kind. I have a feeling this might be something he'd want to know. I'll see to it that he does. Thank you, Inspectore. Now, I best be off. The events here have clearly taken care of themselves. Until next time, Cicero. Let's get back. I have news for the Mariner. Well, she seems awfully concerning. Uh, she's rather casual about the fact that she apparently knew about somebody that was essentially a slaver, an abuser, a kidnapper, and a child murderer. All right. Blue Guild, not the highest opinions to be had here. Calden Azris, nine. I'm unsure whether I find it surprising or not that in a city full of shadows, secrets have an uncanny way of bubbling up and finding the light, no matter how deep they've been buried. Zelia has approached me and requested I deliver a message to Calden about Orlana, the songstress we met at the Hall of Songs, with whom he is he so clearly has a history. I am eager to deliver the message, perhaps this will finally lead me to the answers I've been so curious to find. So we've been setting up for this all along. Samora's crown, Zelia Dolore. There is a place for soft hearts in this world, but it is not at the, a the apex of hierarchies. Zelia de uh, Deladore uh, might be the leader of the Blue Guild, but the compassion that she holds within her breast is markedly different from those of her subordinates. Hers is a calculated one, and not one that is given freely. I do not blame her for adopting such tempered virtue, however, likely if her heart had be been any less steeled, the Sorelle would not be nearly as strong as they currently are. It is enough for me that she does not chase power for the sake of it, as some of the other members of the Crown do. Instead, Zelia strives for power only so that those under her have a chance at a better life in this world. That seems to contradict the whole concept of what was happening there. That wasn't a better life for anyone. That <laughs> they were they were whoring out mothers by kidnapping their children and threatening to kill them. Did she not know that? The dialogue really seemed to indicate that she knew everything that was going on. Maybe I'm missing something, but it seems like that type of person should not be someone that you're not angry about. <laughs> 